Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be giving my first impression on the new Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. So I have the travel size here. So before I get into the fragrance, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate you guys so so much with that said let's get right into today's video Alright guys, so today I didn't have no plans on filming. I did want to do a review on this fragrance right here, which is the Marc Jacobs Ever So Fresh. That should be up on my channel soon, so look out for that review. But as I got ready to film that review, I remembered that I was going to be receiving the Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry in the mail. So I was patiently just sitting here waiting for UPS to come and they showed up right on time. So I'm going to be doing a complete first impression. I have never smelled it. I don't know anything about it except for the notes that I read on Sephora. So this fragrance, I don't even see it on Fragrantica yet. So we're going to go based off of the notes that are in the packaging. All right, so this fragrance is available at Sephora and also on Kayali's website. I purchased my fragrances from Sephora. It's just easier for me since I have Sephora's here in Puerto Rico in case of anything. And the price for the travel spray, which comes in a different packaging now, they don't come in that packaging where it was like a mini bottle, which I actually thought they were so cute. This one is looking like it's going to be just like a regular travel spray bottle like the other fragrances here is the packaging for the travel spray it reminds me of my Mon Guerlain travel spray it's all right I really don't mind the look of it I feel like this is really cute I do prefer when they are the small bottles that look like the Kayali bottles because I find them nicer um, I'm not sure what happened there but here it is and I'm going to be reading the notes for you guys from Kayali's Instagram so the top notes for this fragrance are burning cherry bergamot raspberry the middle notes are rose damascena i've never heard that it's probably damask rose jasmine sunback heliotrope and praline and the base notes are palo santo guayac wood patchouli peru balm tonka bean absolute vetiver haiti essence and amber Amber to guys, I don't know the way that they're written out. All right, let's just get right into the fragrance. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it on a tester strip. And then after that, I'm going to spray it on my skin. So I'm just so excited. I cannot wait. This is beautiful. And there's already two fragrances that came to my mind when I smelled this. But this is gorgeous. First impression, it reminded me of two scents. I thought of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which I've already kind of heard talk of people comparing it to Lost Cherry. But I also thought of my Dior Feb Delicios, but like a softer version for those people who maybe thought that Feb Delicios was way like too much or too strong. This one is a little bit smoother to me. I need to put it on my skin. Ooh, this is such a, it's a very sensual, sexy cherry. I'm going to wear it. Wow, 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 wow. I'm very impressed right now. I'm getting very good vibes from it. I'm getting like smooth, woody, dark cherry. So I do see what it means by like a burning cherry because there is like this smoky vibe from it. I'm getting it from like that wood. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a cherry almondy type of vibe with like a very smooth, woody base. This is going to be perfect for fall time. I, if I go through this, then I'll definitely get the full size bottle. But if I would have got the full size bottle, I would not have been mad at it at all. And what I like about this one is that usually with fragrances like Lost Cherry 
or Feb Delicios, they are very like beast mode. And I'm not saying that this isn't beast mode, but this has like a softness and a smoothness to it. I wouldn't say that this is a fragrance that's going to project really far or anything like that. I feel like it's more of like a sensual gourmand fragrance that just makes you smell super yummy, very approachable. If you were to hug someone or be close to someone, they're probably going to compliment you. It's very inviting to me. I don't really get raspberry right now, but the way that this dries down, you guys, I find it very, very sexy. It's a very woody fragrance to me, so I'm picking up way more on that wood. You guys know that when I get fragrances that have patchouli or woods, or just those types of stronger notes, I tend to pick those up more than anything else. So if there are fruits at the top, my nose kind of skips over it, but I am getting the cherry mixed in with those woods. And it's a very unique fragrance to me. I feel like it reminds me of other fragrances that I have smelled in the past, but it's not dupes for any of them. I feel like it's its own fragrance. I feel like it's beautiful, it's sexy, it's so smooth. I, I, that's kind of what's sticking out to me the most is how smooth this fragrance is. It's just so beautiful. Sometimes when you have woody fragrances, they could sometimes be a little too much wood, too dry. This just gives such a beautiful combination of that dark cherry, a smooth wood to it but it's still feminine, it's still very inviting. It dries down very soft. I feel like I'm not getting beast mode from this fragrance. That cherry is so good. If you love cherry, this is definitely a must have. I'm gonna go through this really quickly. So I think I do wanna order a full size of it because for fall time, this is perfection. I think that for fall time, it's going to be one of the top fragrances this year because it's a woody fragrance. I feel like you can even wear it during the holidays. You can wear it for like Thanksgiving. It will be beautiful for that time of the year. It's good. It is really good. I like how unique it is. So I will say it's not a beast mode fragrance. I'm not sure if it is meant to be. To me, it is more of an intimate fragrance. I feel like it's more of a skin scent. Doesn't mean that it's not strong or anything like that, but it is closer to the skin. The bergamot is literally like, boom, just two seconds in the opening. You're not going to get bergamot vibes out of this fragrance. And if you were to smell it without reading the nose, I don't think that someone would pick out bergamot in here. I pick up a delicious dripping cherry like a dark syrupy cherry it's not medicinal it's not cough drop cherry it has a sweetness to it for some reason it's making me think of almonds the color of the bottle is the perfect color for this fragrance because it just makes me think of cherries but then that woodiness that creaminess just makes it it just elevates it. It makes it so good. So, so good. I'm going to be wearing this for the rest of the day and I definitely need to update you guys because usually when I do reviews on fragrances, I test the fragrance a couple of days before. I don't really do like first impressions that much anymore. But since I just received it today, I just wanted to do this video to give my first impressions on it. It's making me think of Christmas and it's making me think of Thanksgiving. And I feel like I'm getting almond in here. You guys know that I love almond. Almond can get mistaken with cherry a lot because they do vibe very similar. I love this. I am not the biggest fan of Lost Cherry from Tom Ford, so I feel like I like this way better because it just, it's blended so nicely. And I feel like everything is blended so well in here that it's really, really hard for me to pick out the notes that are in here. I know that for sure what sticks out to me the most is that Burning Cherry. You know what? I just read and what's giving because I feel like I get like this woody fragrance, but it's very soft and creamy. And I just read again that there is Palo Santo in here. And I always love buying the Palo Santo candle from Bath and Body Works. And if you have ever smelled that candle, it has like this very soft, almost like a powdery texture to it. And it's just very relaxing, kind of like calming. I'm getting that in here. I'm getting the Palo Santo a lot in here. And maybe to some people, Palo Santo is a note that you're not really too familiar with, but I actually burned Palo Santo many times before and I have candles that smell like Palo Santo. So the dry down of this, I'm 
when I'm done with this review, I am going to purchase the full size bottle of this because I can just keep this in my purse to reapply when I go out. But that Palo Santo in the base, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I was very worried with this fragrance because I saw so many woody notes and then there was patchouli and that vetiver can sometimes be very masculine on my skin. This is not that on me. The more it dries, I'm getting that Palo Santo. I'm getting like woody notes, but they're very smooth. But this is just a woody, smooth, cherry, almond-like fragrance. It does have like a smoky vibe to it, but it's not like replicas by the fireplace where you literally smell smoke. It's not that. It just, it has a bit of a smokiness, but it's very, very soft. This in cooler weather, I feel would be so stunning because right now it is hot where I'm at and it still is wearable, but I feel like for fall and for winter, it's going to be so beautiful. I wanna use it for holiday season. I feel like it's making me think of fall and fall vibes and it is just the perfect release for the moment. Kayali fragrances very rarely disappoint me. There's maybe like one or two that are just not for me and I still find them very beautiful scents. They're just not for me. This right here, I love it. I love it so, so much. It is just a woody cherry. Perfection. So, that brings me to the end of my first impression. You guys got to open it with me, see my first reaction, my first like vibes with it. It's so good, it's so unique. Comment down below if you already tried this fragrance, if you want to buy it, if you want to pick it up, if you're excited over it, what do you think about it? Do you like it, did you not like it? Thank you guys so, so much for being here with me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.